Alright guys, hope you're doing well. He, we are playing some great keepers. I actually got this game um, through Bins. Uh, Bins to me a uh, website you can just farm some Bins coins and then you can trade them in for games. And Great Keepers is a very very fun game. So let me show you what is it about. It's just this guy uh, with a bow, a sword. And you get like a set of skills. You keep upgrading and fighting the same dungeon. Then you keep leveling up in between dungeons. Well, for now, I'm just testing out um, how much damage I received if I get too many of these enemies. I don't know, zombies or whatever these guys are. <laughs> I'm not sure. As you can see, um, I think, in my opinion, it's uh, very good to play with a gamepad. Especially when you have to turn around and do, and do you know, this circle fighting thing to aim the arrow bow. And now I'm fighting in the next stage. This actually is, um, yeah, this is kind of like a little bit of a tutorial showing me that I have a sword. So the first uh, stages, it will tell you a little bit um, what is it about. Now the skeleton king is actually the boss of this game. So if you beat like skeleton king, you beat the game in theory, but no. You actually keep upgrading in things. So you want to be fully upgraded. And then I would say you are done with the game once you uh, finish getting all of the upgrades uh, out there available uh, you can use healing potions you've got on the top right a mini map uh, objective is pretty self-explanatory you gotta kill like 15 enemies to move to the next round once you finish all rounds then you fight a mini boss and once you're done with the mini boss you move to the next stage and so forth so the game is kind of like a little bit uh, repetitive. Now this is the boss of the game. Yeah, this is the skeleton king. So when you fight him, uh, everything resets. Like all the progress you've done resets. But you get items for you to upgrade and get back into the fight stronger than ever. So I think that's the catch. Right? <laughs> That is the boss of this game, actually. You see it on the loading screen, which is funny. It's funny, and I felt kind of like confused, right? Because um, you just start playing a game, and the first thing you see, it would be the boss of the entire game itself. It's crazy. Now, this will be like the very stage one. Previous thingy, I would say, it was some sort of practice. So you get around it. You can see on my top left, oh, you got the level. Um, 300 would be my health bar. And you get some coins, so these coins you can upgrade your weapons. So that's actually what the lady told me to do. Get yeah, melee weapons, range weapons, armory, and. Okay, this is the. the the quick strike. You can check the details of the weapon, how much damage it does, and so forth. I like the design of this game, right? Okay, if you keep killing them, you just keep leveling up. The more enemies you kill, the more level you get, the stronger you get. I think they're kind of funny, right? I love the animation when they're just coming towards you. I would say the guys that are ranged enemies are the worst because they're not funny. They're kind of like, <laughs> they're kind of harder because you're focused on the guys coming at you and they're actually the most dangerous. They also know how to shoot arrows. Okay, level 3, and they keep popping. They keep popping. 
actually um we are in stage four now so this would be like i would say it's the same area but let's call it round four something like that and now we got to the boss fight you, act, you can actually continue to fight uh, more rounds until you're certain you're ready to uh, kill the boss now this would be the boss of this stage and there we go we move forward to the next area the next dungeon and we got a different weapon actually it's a war mace it's different from the sword you can't carry no more than two weapons at a time of course killing boss gives you a sweet chest and that gives you different um items and now we got a war mace I like the fact that you can just toggle on auto attack boss that will help you so much but I think it depends on which kind of boss you're fighting against that would be my armor I've just upgraded it with a few coins I, I still have a lot of coins so I think I'm gonna keep upgrading my abilities for this time I got the thrust I don't think I showed you that one yet, but it's an ability that you just dash forward with the sword. So, in order to have that uh, ability, you must use the sword. If you don't have it equipped, it, then there's no way you can do that. Okay, that was the ability. As you can see, I'm playing with the gamepad, so you can see it's R, it's and Y. Y would be the thrust ability. I usually just use a sword with ads only when they're just too close to me, right? And instead of the sword, you can use the war mace or other close combat weapon of your choice. Now we are on stage 4. Stage 8, sorry. <laughs> so it is like it counted my previous stages, right? I don't know why, but it is kind of addicting. It is quite simple, but it is addicting. It's fun, I don't know. I like it. I, I didn't think that I would like it that much. Because, like I said, it is sort of repetitive, but um, when you're playing it, playstyle feels smooth and nice. Uh, it's still worthwhile. Like, you can easily just, you know down three to five hours in okay now this boss kind of looks like a yeti or something a mixture between a ghost from ghostbusters and, the, and a yeti okay he's gonna explode and we got a minor chest more back and we move forward. Yeah. Stage 11. Okay, time to upgrade. So now I like to compare damage. And I'm gonna sell. Okay, you got a little shop here. I'm gonna sell the ones that, yeah, that I'm not interested in so I get more coins. Although they give you very little coins, you are uh, many coins through battle. But why to keep a lot of things that I'm not really using, so I prefer just to sell them. Alright, we got a nice upgrade there. Um, I have the war mace equipped right now. So I'm gonna upgrade it. Yeah, I like the war mace, a lot of damage. And of course, my armor. One of the things that, um, oh yes, you've got uh, daily quests, like uh, daily tasks to do. And once you're finished with those, you get nice sweet coins and awards. I like that, to have like daily missions. I always love that from games because it always drives you to come back for more. 
right every day like hey i want to get my coins in i love that feature in games daily missions daily quests definitely a lot rewarding especially if they just you know change every day that is perfect because if you didn't do that well on the first go then you have another day to just to roll them over all right this is my daily quests i got a few potions and some gems five gems so far I, I would say gems are like premium currency in the game you just buy that with actual money there we are on stage 14 they're actually faster I feel like they're faster and the mages the mages are giving me some trouble i guess they're like ranged enemies are the worst because they can deal quite damage especially if i'm just standing still like i, I was just doing okay good thing i got the, the potion once you hit like kill the boss button they all disappear all of a sudden and then you got the boss now this guy is strong. It's very strong and fast. Uh, I won't let him touch me. So I better just use the threat ability to escape in this case instead of engage. Okay, just for the last hit. And we did it. Oh, got a new armor. I wonder yeah. if it changes the appearance of my character. Stage 16. Do you find this place familiar? <laughs> I think. I think it's the same uh, area we fought before. Alright, we got this tunic. It's bluish. Level 2, but still, it, it started with a better defense on the get go. So I'm just selling the previous one. And yes, my appearance does change. So I love that. And we got another thrust ability. It will be the same ability, but for some reason it's got uh, more levels. So I got a mission there that it says to go. Okay. Domination, upgrade items. Missions are like different. You got daily quests and you got missions. Missions are permanent. And like daily quests will change every day. Okay, let's so just toggle on the auto attack boss button. Hope you like the game. Thank you so much for watching.